Are you about to go into university to study aerospace engineering and are often asking yourself questions like, what laptop shall I buy? What will I even use my laptop for? And what specifications should I look at when buying a laptop? Well, if this sounds like you, you're at the right place. My name's Saga and I just graduated from the University of Sheffield in Aerospace Engineering and this video should help you answer these questions. During my four years at university, there are four reasons why I used my computer. So the first reason was to write reports and surf the internet and also look at resources that the university has on their online platform. I've grouped these together because they all require the same amount of computational power, which is, you know, not that much really. The second reason why I used a computer was basically to program. So these are in languages like MATLAB and Python. The third thing I used my computer for was to do computer aided design and this is where you design 3D models on softwares like SolidWorks. Lastly and probably the most computationally demanding was to perform computational fluid dynamics on a computer and this is where you model the fluid flow around or inside a object or body. So the first option for when it comes to buying a computer or laptop is the more expensive option I'm going to talk about which allows you to do all four of the tasks I mentioned on your own computer. Just before we continue with this video, I think it's time to mention the sponsor of this video, which is Amber. Starting uni or going back to university can be a stressful time. And part of this stress comes with finding soon accommodation, especially with the uncertainties thrown in by the pandemic. However, it doesn't always have to be so stressful. Amber has actually made it very easy for students to search book and finalize their accommodation by providing assistance along the way. You can also rest easy if you are booking with Amber because if you're unable to get to your accommodation due to travel bans, visa delays or visa cancellations or rejections due to the pandemic then Amber will give you a full refund and also not charge you for cancelling your booking. Amber has over 20,000 listings in over 100 countries including the UK, USA and Australia so you're very likely to find your ideal student accommodation. So if you click the link in the description and register with Amber, then you'll get free personalized recommendations for student accommodation. And that means you don't have to spend your time searching the internet for the ideal student accommodation. So before you run out of time and have to resort to living in a cardboard box outside of university, go check out Amber and the link is in the description. So firstly, to ensure that all your engineering softwares are able to be run on your own machine, I advise that you do get a Windows computer over a Mac computer. This is because you often run into problems with compatibility, especially, for example, softwares like SolidWorks are really awkward to get onto a Mac and so it just makes your life easier if you have Windows as your operating system. In terms of hardware, this is the sort of recommended specs you should be looking at in a computer or a laptop. So firstly, your CPU, it needs to be a quad core CPU. You should have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, you should also have a dedicated graphics card which has around four gig or more VRAM and ideally you should have a SSD which will help load files for your CAD and CFD projects much more quickly. So the types of laptops you're going to be looking at for this sort of specification is gaming laptops and these sort of laptops range in price well they start from around a thousand pounds and can go up to well whatever you're willing to pay really but it's important to note that these gaming laptops are the more expensive end of laptops. But if you don't have the money to buy a gaming laptop, then not to worry, I got you covered. Here's a smart way to get around having to buy a really expensive laptop. So two of the universities that I've studied at, the University of Sheffield in the UK and the University of New South Wales in Australia, both had the ability for you to remote desktop and use a uni computer through your own computer. And this allows you to be able to use the computational power of the university computers without having to perform those sort of tasks on your own computer. For example, if you wanted to do some computational fluid dynamics, but your own computer is not powerful enough to do them, then you can simply log on through the university portal 
to a remote desktop and in essence use the university computer as if you're sitting at university. So if the university that you are going to has this sort of system in place, then you don't have to actually buy a laptop that has a dedicated graphics card in it because you're able to use that computational power of the university computer. It's important to note, however, there is this trade-off where, you know, during busy periods in the university calendar, you might have to compete for these remote desktop places because there might only be a finite number of computers available. And there's undoubtedly many students who are also wanting to use the university's computing power. Therefore, if you do end up spending less on your laptop because you haven't bought a graphics card with it, then I think you need to understand that even though you paid less, your trade-off will be you might have to log on at you know off-peak sort of hours, maybe late at night or really early in the morning to get a slot on uh, a university computer. So the price range for laptops without dedicated graphics cards can range between like 400 to about a thousand pounds, but they often won't be more than a thousand pounds unless if you're buying something like a Apple computer. And also saying this, if you do like and prefer Macs, then this is another way where you can buy a Mac because you're able to remote desktop into a university computers that will be most probably running Windows. Here's a little bonus tip for you for when you're buying your laptop. Try and make sure you get a laptop that has a pretty good webcam as well because you're more often going to actually use this when you're doing your interviews and stuff like that, especially in this current time when a lot of the things are still online and may continue to be so. You know, if you have a great webcam, then it'll be easier for you to, you know, do well in your interviews because they'll have a nice clear image of you when you're talking. And if you're going to go and study aerospace engineering, then uh, check out this other video, which I've got that summarizes basically what your life will be like whilst at university.